Hi, David. Hi. Do you have a pet? Yes, uh, I used to have a whole bunch of pets at home. Uh, they, they were about 20 of my animals there, but uh, since my childhood days, they have since deceased. So I now have two daughters, and they make up for all the kind of pet time that I've lost. What's your spirit animal? Um, my spirit animal would probably be the platypus, just for its weirdness. It has a weird looking face, and it freaks people out uh, wherever, wherever, whenever they see it. How does your spirit animal translate to your art? Because I share that, that interest in having the uncanny part of uh, the planet first. When I produce my own work, what I want to do is to create the same kind of environment, the same kind of interest, the same kind of uh, familiarity but uh, distinct uh, contrast. So like you know, the animals that I do, they seem almost humanistic, uh, but at the same time they execute. Uh, a bit of that kind of rawness that we may not associate with humans but we see it happen all, uh, again and again. Your art has a very surreal quality to it. Do your dreams or art inspire your reality? Uh, when I think of a narrative or a story behind my painting, the kind of uh, instincts or the kind of behaviours I want to portray are actually the same. We share the same need for social, uh, socialising, we share the same need for survival to continue our existence. So when I talk about a narrative story, you know, um, all the characters are actually a metaphor for human um, circumstances, for human behavior. Thank you, David.